Hello viewers, Human Canine 4 here, and welcome back to Ocarina of Time Master Quest. In the last episode, we got to Hyrule Castle, woke up a guy who looks like Mario, and now we're talking to Princess Zelda, who has a story to tell us. Okay. The legend goes like this. <clears throat> um. The three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So, the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. So it's sealed with the stone door, then? Whatever. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. <gasps> Do you understand well the story I just told you? Nope. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not very good at storytelling. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can- okay. The Ocarina of Time! Again. Did you understand well the story that I told you this time, you son of a bitch? Yes. Don't hurt me. That's great! I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. Yeah, I kinda got that the other element from my dream dark clouds. I believe they symbolize that man in there. You know, I was speaking- will you look through the window at him? Well, not if you keep interrupting me. No. Please. If you don't hurry, he'll be gone. What? Why do I need to look at him to show me a picture? That totally works, right? There he is. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Gendorf. The leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. So wait, is it the guard on the left or the guard on the- Oh, red-haired guy, okay. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream. They must symbolize that man. Does your dream involve you running away on a horse? What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Well, he probably knows we're planning something. Yes. I told my father about my dream. That's not what I asked. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link. Now, we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. I don't believe you. Please believe me. My prophecies have never been wrong. Okay, give me an example of another one that happened, then. Please. I, I, I don't know, I'm not really buying it. I, you know what, I, I got nothing better to do. Okay. Thank you. Right. I... I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing. One more thing? Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. Okay. Received Zelda's letter. Wow! 
This letter is Princess Zelda's autograph. <gasps> so, if I keep this for 20 years, I can get rich off of it? No, you'll still be alive then, won't you? Won't you? So anyway, we need to- Oh god, we've been caught. Don't worry, I have a plan. How's it going? I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. Uh-huh. You are a courageous boy. Actually, I'm just bored, but I guess courageous works too. Okay. You're heading on a big new adventure, aren't you? Yes. My role in the princess's dream was to teach a melody to the one from the forest. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. I have played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is a mysterious power in these notes. Mm-hmm. Now listen carefully. Okay, now can you do that one more time on an electric guitar? No? Okay, then this might be tough. Okay, um... Q? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. uh. Okay, seriously. Now, if I failed it again there, that would just be sad, because that one wasn't, wouldn't have been on purpose. Okay, so. Mm hmm. Oh my god. I can play an ocarina. This is the best thing since. Um, can I make money off of this, or am I just basically worthless? Worthless skill for now? Okay. Yep. Because I'll just find you, there'll be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. Okay. Cool. Cool. By the way, what if I still wanted to do stuff in town? You brave lad. We must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. We should, shouldn't we? Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. Do they now? Okay. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariko. That is where I was born and raised. Then how are you a ninja now? Okay. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. Do I have to? The song I just taught you has some mysterious power. Only royal fem members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it will help to prove your connection with the royal family. But my only connection is that I broke into the castle and then found a, the princess staring through a window. And and then you just taught me... Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll call that a connection. Sounds good to me. So what about like any other thieves who have broken in? Are they connected too? Or no, because they didn't meet the princess. I'm very confused as to how this whole royalty thing works. Anyway... Before we go to Kakariko Village, if you remember, we just woke up Talon to go back to Malin. And Talon owns Long Lawn Ranch, which is this place right over here. So, we're going to go check that out first. Tree check! Ow. Rupees! Yeah! Okay, not totally worthless. And we're here! Let's see what we've got in this place, shall we? Horses! Oh my god, oh god, they disappeared. I think they were just dragged into the netherworld. There's something along those lines. Okay, we got pots here. Which means more rupees for us! Yay! Link, the most effective child robber. And let's see, the tree here, there is a tree here. Might be, oh. Hello! Ow! You hit me. Why did you hit me? That was kind of painful, Mr. Skaltwa. Box. Box, there we go. Okay. Running, 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 running. <gasps> Tiny horsey! That's even better than bigger horsey. Because it's kid-sized. I don't know where I was going with that. Hello, horsey! I wish to ride you. 
Why aren't you running away? You're supposed to run away. Okay, um, how's it going? Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How would you like the castle? Did you see the princess? <laughs> that gave him a moment of hurry after you found him. Wait, how did you get home before him if he was running like a crazy man? But you have a friend? Oh, gee. Oh, the horse. Okay. Um, she's a horse. Wait, wait, wait. You run away after she says your name. Okay. Seems legit. How's it going? It seems like opponent is afraid of you, fairy boy. Yes. Yes, it does. Let's remedy that, shall we? <laughs> I don't know what that was to question it. Um, I have this thing. Malin, I, I said I have this thing. Malin. Am I still doing things out of order? Damn it. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Oh, there we go. Ah! Oh, oh my god, what? Well then, horse! Well then! I am trying to play beautiful music, and you all- you flat out run me over, almost. God! Now, where were we? Oh, cute ocarina. I need to replace this thing. What? Mm-hmm. Song. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That uh, looks a lot like Zelda's lullaby, not gonna lie. Okay. Yay! Yay! Pona song. Which looks like rearranged Zelda's lullaby. At a different tempo. Progress. Owl! Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Protect me, fence. Um, horsey, you're starting to scare me. Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't realize she followed me out of the thing. Oh god. Opona. Opona. You're you're going Opona. 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 I think I broke her. Oh god. Uh. What? Oh, it's sorry to say if we told her we're going to save Hyrule. Should I care? Wait a second. That gives us the perfect opportunity to go to that thing that I did at first by mistake before we left the- Phone! Anyway, as I was saying before the phone rang, that'll give us a perfect opportunity to do the thing that I said I was going to do. Or not the thing I said I was going to, the thing that I accidentally did back in episode 4 at the end of that, and I went to that place in the thing through the Lost Woods and whatnot, which I don't think I told you guys. Anyway, in the next episode, we will go back there. For now, this has been PM94, and I'll see you guys next time.